Hey, hello, what's going on YouTube fam? This is your boy Jay Money here, and I'm bringing you guys part four of Subscriber Duels. Get off my screen, you little bastard. All right, part four of Subscriber Duels. This is some crazy shenanigans right here. Now, um, let's see. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and just show you guys the deck later uh, after I get through with the, some of these replays, just to, you know, display how it works and all the good stuff, and I'll have... Uh, what the build was originally like and then I'll post up the uh, revised version after so we're going to go ahead and pull this bad boy up there we go now you know you can you'll end up seeing a nice little demonstration of what how many interruptions this deck can potentially play through because I get interrupted five times and almost succeed in playing through the whole thing. But, you know, these new zombie stuff... Whew, whew, sorry, I'm tired. Uh, this new zombie stuff is no joke, but of course he rips the soul charge too, so... You know, it's no surprise there. You know, I just noticed this entire time he soul charged, he didn't even deduct life points. But, you know what, that's okay. That is a okay, and you know it's just like yeah, either you got it or you got it. If you don't, you don't. So as you can see here, we're looking at some nice combos. Ah, uh, I wish uh, what's his name? I wish Nightmare Goblin was still legal, but we all know that card. You know, is pretty. It's pretty absurd for how generic it was. So as you can see. We're getting Akashic Magician over here cycled over and over and over again. I didn't even know that, um... I thought its effect was once per turn, but no, you can only leak so it once per turn. So, if you're able to just keep, uh, to get it off the field and put it back on the field over and over, you can keep getting its little, um, uh, excavate effect. And he always kept digging for burial from a different dimension. So he can keep uh, activating it, putting all the Mizukis back, and continue to Link Climb. And so there's a proxy here. This Crystal Wing right here is proxy for a Boral Savage Dragon because it's kind of not here on uh, DB. And so that's why you see the Suyuji equipped with uh, four counters. So, and, okay, let me go ahead and pause all this. Ooh, man. So anyway, I go Ravine, and I discard the Zephyros Elite for Dark Worm. And so, I go for the effect of Dark Worm, and I special, let's see. Let's see, let's go back up on the chat here. And I go for the effect of Surge, he lets that go. And, uh, what does he need to get with Savage? Oh yeah, I go um, Gold Sark and a Balancer Lord to attempt the special from hand. He negates that with Savage. All right, so then I go for Zephyros the Elite to bounce the Dark Worm to hand to special because I haven't normal summoned yet, and he banishes it with this um, zombie thing, which he apparently you can use both of its effects during the same turn. I thought you could only use one, but apparently not. So that's what happens there. So then I decide to scale the Dark Worm and the Gate Zero and normal summon the Solid Man and go for the effect. And so, um, you know, just to save the Pendulum Summon. And I have a Gage at hand as well. Alright, so now I think when he negates here, I decide to uh, go straight into battle phase so I can clear my field so I can activate engage and get more negates out the way. So I go solid man swing. You know, now I go main phase two. We activate that engage. He lets go. I'm like, all right, we get our hornet bit. And I'm like, okay, so we're going to have a body on board and we're going to have a hornet, uh, another card added if he, you know, doesn't do anything. But. He does try gate negate the uh, Kagari, and so I go Pendulum Summon the uh, Vion, and now it's time to go in, but I forget that there's a live firewall, so I play through two interruptions with this guy, an interruption from Savage Dragon, a Banish from Trigate, so it's like four interruptions there, 
Farwell makes five interruptions. Um, but he Farwell bounces the malicious. And well, that kind of that's that's the game. So, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we there. There's nothing I can do there. Five negates, six cards in hand. What are you gonna do? But this hand was just absolute garbage. Uh, there was absolutely no warriors in hand, even with the dark worm. Like maybe I could have just searched Alistair uh, off the meltdown, but the problem is I, there's no light monsters in circulation whatsoever oh shoot oh no 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 don't do that no okay looks like I gotta fast forward this bad boy we're already at five minutes so it's not too terrible ah anyway so while I'm waiting for this to catch right back up to where it was I do want to say that I um I don't know about soul fusion you know uh, the OCG imports are okay. I mean, we got some cards that were long overdue, you know Rejoice Fluffle players you get your patchwork and DDD players get their high flanking Genghis. Y'all should have got that two years ago um, However You know, there's still cards that you know Actually do something in terms of you know meta relevance that we still don't have chair beating we still have needle fiber We still don't have um, I was hoping we'd get a roll the uh, plant link monster in the set. We don't even get that either. Hell, it would have actually made sense to import the um, hieratic link monster because of you know how this is chaos themed and how there's some chaos dragon related stuff in here. So I was for sure that they would end up throwing that in here, but they didn't. You know so. It's like, okay, aside from the Thunder Dragons and the Cyber stuff, and let's say the full go Justice for Hire is a super rare, so, you know, thank God for that. That's really cheap. So, you know, I don't I don't know what else to look for. Like, I, yeah, I know all the Thunder Dragon stuff is, like, ultra and secret, and so are some of the dangers, you know, but, you know, realistically, how much of those secrets going to end up being, you know? And, you know, with me, I can't even really buy a case now because of that $1,400 I spent on the PC and all that mess. And then I got a bunch of dates lined up, you know, I got to, uh, it's just, I don't know. You know, I get you know, just one girl I want to take on a date today, you know, she's very, very, very promising and all the good stuff. So, you know, can't really buy a case if you're going on dates, right? <laughs> but anyway, um... So, yeah. Well, we're almost caught up, boys. We almost caught up. But anyway, that's that's my grip with uh, Soul Fusion. Like I said, there's still a lot of good stuff in Soul Fusion. You know, even if you're not playing Thunder Dragon. Cybers is going to be a real deck now. Because those new Cyanide cards are really good. That's fire. Like, I, I, I predict... I don't know. I feel like next set, there's going to be like some more Cyber stuff that will probably bring it into competitive relevance at that point only next set will tell uh, we really don't know uh, the new incantations will take Necroz to the next level because like I said the first incantations were okay but they weren't what Necroz needed Necroz needed more grave recurrence because the thing about Necroz is they're so incredibly consistent due to all the search cards that are available but because um because of the fact that uh, we don't have sure it, you're spending a lot of resources to ritual summon multiple times. And so you have a hard time recurring resources right back. And so that's why those other incantations are so important. Not because the levels are just right for summoning Trishula a lot more consistently or Valkyrie a lot more consistent, uh, consistently, but because it gives you your stuff back from your graveyard. Getting your stuff back from the graveyard was incredibly difficult in Necroz. Um, not only because, well, Unicorn is at one now. When it was at three copies, you were easily able to recur stuff back and all that stuff. But, you know, also because you're spending a lot of resources to ritual something because you don't have sure it to just, you know, eat up the entire cost that was searchable. Yeah, you have things like Ariel, 
to mitigate some of that, you know, level modulate here and there to make ritual summoning easier. And yeah, gave you another monster, but it did. But you still had to sack off another monster if you're going to summon a level seven or higher. So there was that. Um, so as you can see, you know, we see that game nice and beautifully. You know, we go Gumblar, we go Rise of Dragon since no, so we can have a Black Rose play and a, uh, another Gumblar play. So. I don't know what happens here. I don't know if he uh, full combos me or not, but he, it's he should have. I don't know how what went wrong, but uh, here we're gonna go play by play. So I go Allure and I banish the uh, Steam of the Cloak. Rest in peace. Um, so we're looking at some pretty good stuff now. Um, I do make a misplay here at some point. Because I did, I forgot that I opened a Divine Sword Phoenix Blade, and so the plan was to Zolt for a Shadow Mist, but you know, kind of can't do that. All right. So anyway, we send Malicious. We go Dark Worm. We go Dark Worm um, effect, but he called one of the greatest. I'm like, oh, he's hitting the Dark Worm, but no, he's actually hitting the Destiny Hero Malicious. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. Dark Worm effect. We chain the Hornet bit, so we can still get our two monsters. That's how you play around that shit. And we go effect, you know, we're searching our gate zero. We link off, we make our Kagari, we get our Hornet bit right back. Now, I could have made Nightmare Phoenix up top just to make Hornet bit live again, but I honestly just wanted the draw. And I have Phoenix Blade in hand anyway, so, you know, it's like, okay, I can just Hornet bit later at some point. So we go the Troy Mare Phoenix and we hit that Zombie World because we want to summon his old. Because the Zolt takes warriors and Zombie World turns everything in grave and on field into zombies. That's not good. So we go Brilliant Fusion. The fact that we drew it off the Phoenix makes it pretty favorable. Now, luckily, I read this Vendred Link Monster. Otherwise, I would have been uh, fucked because this thing can basically get over anything if I decided to try and run it over. Because I was about to do that and then I was like, oh, let me read this thing. This must be the reason why I kept it on the board. So yeah, and that's precisely uh, what he was trying to do, just hoping I wouldn't read it, you know. Oh yeah, I'm not other people, brother. I read cards. So, you know, we special that solid man. We go into that as Zold, because the Zold is just awesome like that. And so we go ahead and add, and then we foolish three, because once again, I thought we were gonna be able to get four. Oh man, oh, I hate the lag. So we summon Sork for Malicious. We don't banish the summon because we're on a call by the grave. So yeah, after we summoned our uh, boots off of Isolde, we link boots and Isolde into a summon Sork. We banish the boots, grab Shade Brigade, activated that, summoned it to the zone, and that's how we got the Malicious we got right there. So next play, you know, we're linking off. We're making Unicorn because I read the card and we go ahead and discard our Shadow Mist. And spin that back to the deck and then we're linking these off uh no no we go in the battle phase first yeah we decided to go in the battle phase first so we could do some damage because i don't want to drop my field all the way down because i do plan to establish a gumball dragon so we go gumball dragon and we go engage we grab the widow anchor we draw a card and we do stratos but we already normal summon so it doesn't matter so we go set the Widow Anchor, activate the horn a bit because we don't want to discard Widow Anchor off the Gumblar. Uh, Phoenix Blade, banishing two warriors. There we go. Now we go to Shrudo. Yeah, we doing some things. We doing things. All right. And once again, we go for that shooting Riser Dragon play. And send the snow. And we discard the last two cards out of our opponent's hand. So we have a snow engrave, a Widow Anchor ready. Uh, a snow uh, book and we have a black rose play ready just in case you know but just in case more cards get amassed in the hand I think I decided to add Phoenix Blade back so we're gonna fast forward and see how this goes um, he went for evolution into battle lord and I immediately snowed him down and that was it so I didn't even need to win a winker so yeah, there's that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the deck. You know, it's pretty similar to my uh, Dark Warrior Link deck shenanigans, except it, um, 
it's uh, more focused on, let's say, I guess the hero side of it. You know, you got your Dark Law in here. I went into it a few times with Gumblar, but it's just like the one, you know, you won't be able to if you open any of your other equip spells. Uh, Spiral Gear Big Red, because we do have a Super Agent in here. You know what? I'll have a um, screenshot of the old profile and all that stuff. There are some new things. There's some things that I do recommend. Um, and all that stuff that's not even on this list and um, so after you know you guys get done studying you know what is all has been taken out and all that stuff because it'll be marked um, you know go back on the, the screen you know go and pause whatever but anyway you know I took out BLS because I, I found myself I kept breaking with it every time I opened with it I just couldn't use it or I wish it was like a combo starter or something like that and you know it was just and, uh, and so what I ended up doing was um, first off I added um, this uh, kendo spirit right uh, because I wanted something to search off of his old but before I ended up doing that I saw dark worm was in there but no gate zero so I'm like ah you you know I, I want a plus I want to be able to plus off the dark worm so I had the gate zero in first and then I decided you know what I want this because if even if, if you access dark worm and you access his old you have a complete skill because his old doesn't stop you from playing this as a skill and so every time I access his old I always um, added this so it's just like BLS doesn't even uh, serve a purpose anymore so you know I had some two O's in here that I took out because it's like, okay, you only need one invocation if you're getting your Alistair plays off. Especially in a 60 card deck, you want more resources and more things that you can do. Uh, same thing with Widow Anchor. I didn't want to see too many of it and all that. Now, the things I might end up changing are these uh, two Gold Sarks and Balancer Lords. You know, it's just like, eh, wouldn't it be better just to play Photon Thrasher or Junk Forward that are essentially accomplishing the same thing of putting, what, a warrior on the field, no normal summon? You know, it, you know I don't know, it's just weird to me. Um, but it does summon other things other than warrior, though, so... I can see the Method of the Madness there and Gold Sark as a spell count for things like Engage. Now, there's some things that I do want to add, and that is... Um, a copy of fog blade because oftentimes as you've seen I'll end up summoning boots and then I'll immediately banish boots for um, to grab shade brigade for to make summon sorceress live if I don't have anything else like if I don't have malicious or something in my graveyard like I wanted to be able to have summon sort summon something that'll give me some value while it's in the graveyard that's a warrior if I already access malicious but it's just like oh since I already access boots and all that stuff uh, cloak is for useless so in this scenario I want to be able to summon cloak and actually have some value get a fog blade and all that good stuff with gumblar so I can disrupt my opponent just a little bit more so uh, that there's that I added black rose because I wanted shooting riser dragon to actually do something other than foolish and presto you got yourself in extra interruptions Literally shooting Riser Dragon is two interruptions. You know, you have your snow, and then you got your board white being Black Rose if they manage to push. And we added a uh, Nightmare Phoenix because we needed more Link 2s that actually did something mid combo. You know, I, I seldomly went into uh, Alistair of Madness and all that, so uh, I don't know. I'm liking this, but the thing is, is like, okay. The thing that kept uh, irritating me was the fact that there was just not enough Link monsters in here that were generic that I could just use, like, to continue Link pushing, like, Firewall. Jeez, Firewall would have been amazing. Like, I would have loved to make space for Firewall and Cerberus and things like that, but this deck seems to be built towards Dark Law and um, Gumlar Dragon. And or just reserving the uh, invoked engine because you know this guy loves invokes, so I try to keep you know most of his invokes. He had a, a Raijin in here, but I had to take that out because I, I honestly didn't make it. I made it like once, and it it wasn't like the best either. And 
I forget what else I took out. Oh yeah, he had Levier in here. I ended up taking that out for Black Rose because I wanted to Levier once just to see why it was in here. And it was just like, eh, it doesn't feel, eh, it's not very good. Uh, not in this deck. But um, yeah, so let me know what you think, man. Um, did I show you some combos that you didn't know about? Let me know. So thank you guys very much for watching. This is J Money, and I am signing out.